So, I tell y'all, I was trying to get everything the fun. I, listen, I'm not even going. Anyway, so good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. So, today's episode is sponsored by Tire Kings ATL. Hello, how are you guys doing? Listen, let me just tell y'all, Boost Doctor is a mess. <laughs> let me get him on. So y'all know today's guest is Boost Doctor. And y'all know we all, me and Boost Doctor, it seems like we always going at it. But it's nothing for our time. Anyway, we're going to get um, Boost Doctor on. Hey! Listen, why would we, why we always have to go at it? I mean... Like you started, I, no, like four it was lines. actually three, but my bad, my bad. I apologize. I want to tell you, thank you for sitting time, sitting down, taking time out of your busy schedule to to answer the fans' questions and entertain us for a little while. Because I know this is gonna be. I've been looking forward to this for. Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna be entertaining. Oh, you're definitely gonna be, gonna be entertaining. Definitely are, because I know when I get to yeah, asking you, you these got... questions. I know when I get to ask you these questions, you're gonna your answers are just gonna entertain us. Oh. All right. So, um, usually I will start off with one of my questions, but one of my questions was like one of the fans' questions, which is probably somebody that has not been following you too long. So a lot of the things are gonna be like um, things that me, me personally I already know the answer to. <laughs> Um, but the fans want to know these questions, okay? All right, so yes, someone asked, how long have you been racing? Uh, the early, since the 90s. early 90s? Mm, yeah. <laughs> so I graduated in 90 and shit. I had this damn... Uh, I had, mm -hmm. a, I had a T top Regal. I had a T top Regal, man. It had a little 305 in it, man. I thought I was doing something. But I, I used to go to the track with it. And um, that was like my first my first car. It ain't got that with a 305 in it. I was like, and that bitch had a 305. Look, I had the Pete Jackson gear drive on it. So it made a little whiny noise like a supercharger, but that bitch was slow as hell. <laughs> Oh my god! Do you oh, have, man. have pictures of that car still? You should. I was say you should post them for Throwback Thursday. Have, Go uh, ahead. Anything, I don't have pictures. Of anything I had, like all I have is like what I still got. Like I still got, I got my Camaro and my Corolla, which is the cars that I raced in. Like I've been racing the Camaro mm -hmm. since like '93. I ain't ran it in like oh, you just keeping years. it, holding on to it. <clears throat> hey, it's like um, it's like Aunt Cry, mm -hmm. the one that got the green mm -hmm. second gen Camaro. Yeah, it's just mm -hmm. like that. You ever think you'll start back racing it? <clears throat> mm, yeah, I think about it more and more. So I think I'm a, um, I got some parts laying around. I think I'm that gonna throw something together. Look, that's how you know, you know, that's how you know you balling or you you like a real racer. I got some parts laying around. You just got parts laying around. Well, when these ninjas keep on upgrading their cars and I have to upgrade mine, so like I have to take the shit that I took off, it's still good shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's still good enough stuff to make a fast car, you know, especially if right. you go with something lighter. So... <laughs> Someone asked, do you think the race culture has gotten better or worse? I mean, I feel like it's better. You know, people are going to always have something to say about some. Oh, I wish it was like it used to be. And, you know, like um, we just went through this recently where they were saying, oh, the shootouts hurting the culture, this and that. And I'm like, man. How could a shootout possibly hurt the culture? So they was like, oh, we're going to have this race and we're going to, um, 
you know, basically we're gonna have these, we're gonna set up these grudge races, blah blah blah, this and that. We're gonna do no shootout, and that's when they did that race in um, what was it? Orlando, and shit was just like it used to be. You sitting around, you waiting on a damn race, well for a car break, so you don't get to see the race that you wanted to see, or some shit like that. So I just feel like the shootouts. I feel like the shootouts remove the delay you know what i'm saying like when you get there uh, you kind of know you have an idea of when the, the shootout is going to start and you know once it starts you know it's going down you know so I, I i prefer shootouts i don't have anything against grudge racing but to be limited to grudge racing is ridiculous so is that what you prefer shootouts or grudges i prefer shootouts. is it just because you you most of the time you win the shootout oh. No, it ain't that. It's like you get the race car that you ordinarily wouldn't race. So, like, it's several cars that wouldn't ordinarily race me, but if we're in a shootout and you draw me, then that's what it is. So, like, for me, like, some of the people that's not as fast or or people don't think they are as fast, it ain't as big a deal for them. But, like, for me, I was always going to the track and nobody wanted to race me to the end of the night because they want to try everybody else first and then if, if all else fail they'll be like fuck it we'll try boost doctor maybe you know what i'm saying so like for me shootouts definitely changed the game and made it better and then my whole thing i kept saying to them is well shootout shootouts aren't eliminating the grudge racing like you can still grudge race and y'all the, the idiots that always want to run off the trailer if y'all remove that, remove the off the trailer, you can grudge race mm -hmm. whenever you want. You know what I'm saying? So everybody, you know, got their methods or what they think it should be. But <clears throat> the bottom line is, while we got to run off the trailer, just announce the time that the shootout going to start and have your ass dead. And if you ain't dead, you out. You right. know what I'm saying? It's simple. So, do you prefer um, big rim racing? Because you haven't always been a big rim racer. Nah. So, I mean, it's hard. Small tire. I like the... What I like about big rim racing is like the people that show up at the events and stuff. You know, that's that's what I like the most. It's not so much the actual racing. I like the race. Any kind of any kind of competitive racing, I'm a love. You know what I'm saying? So it's not so much because I'm on big rims or whatever, but it's like it's the people that it draws in. So you mean the, the fan? You you like the variety of the fans? Yeah. I, yeah. Um, I I'm more of a fan of big rim racing. But that's only because I I can appreciate most of the big rim cars that race are beautiful cars. So to look at those beautiful cars going down the track on big rims, I'm like, oh wow, you know that's that's a lot. Yeah, like that's that's what most people love about it. Just like most girls I talk to, that's what they always say. They just love to watch a car mm -hmm. go down the track on big rims. So so um. Remember back when you used to, when you're before you painted your car, remember how the guys used to mm -hmm. bully you and talk so much crap about your car not being painted and your rims and talk all that smack. Mm -hmm. And then when you got your car painted, I love what your response is when people talked about you getting your car painted. You remember what you said about you painting your car and getting new rims? No. You said. <laughs> I mean, I you know, said so I know exactly they paid for them, and I love that yeah, response for sure. Yeah, it's the truth. <laughs> I mean, you know, like everybody, you know, even to this day, man, it don't matter what it is I do, somebody got something to say about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's it's, it's always something. But you know, 
the rest of it is you got to do you. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever you got going on, I think what I have that a lot of people don't have is like my focus. Like, I can, I can hold me in on something. You know what I'm saying? And ain't nothing surrounding me gonna affect what I got going on. So, that's like, I, I I think that's one of the keys to, you know, and, doing your thing. Well, I think a lot of the fans think, too, from the conversations that we have when you guys are not present, is the reason that we feel like you kick so much butt is because you work on your car, you tune your car. Like, you are literally one with the car. A lot of people don't have that. And so I think that's what kind of gives you – um what gives you an advantage when it comes to racing? I mean, I think that definitely helped a lot, but like some people got the pocketbook to pay the best people in the game to help them. You know what I'm saying? So I don't feel like, you know, if you can afford to do that, I don't feel like they had a disadvantage or anything, you know, <clears throat> you know, it's like, <clears throat> Driving my own car, working on my own car, doing everything, yes, that is an advantage. But at the same time, you know, you can drive your own car, work on your own car, and do everything. But that don't mean that you're going to have the same success that I have. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it is an advantage. But at the end of the day, you know, it's it's a lot to do so with So you're knowledge. just trying to sit up here and tell me it's just because you the GOAT. I mean, I don't know if I would say that, but what I'm saying is I never stop. I never let up. I never give up. Like, I'm always at it. So when you come at me, you know, you have to keep that in mind. So when they come at you, they need to keep that same energy? Basically. And you know, like, for the longest, like, when I first started, you know, I basically had, I basically had loot, and, um, it was a daily driver at the time, and then I, the car had set for a couple of years, and I decided, that's when, um, I first started hearing about Sage, and then um, people was like, oh, man, you think you can outrun him? I was like, hell yeah, and they looking he, like, I, I never forget, man, dude, I know he at my shop or whatever. And he asked me, could I outrun him? And I was like, man, I'll fuck Sage up. You know what I'm saying? And he just looked at me like, like, man, he tripping. You know, he didn't say that, but that's the look he had on his face. Because, like, for the longest, like, see, people think, like, so I race right now, I race loot, whatever. I do pretty decent, you know what I'm saying? But I always had a fast car. Like, from way back in 94, like, I had a fast car. I had a fast car then, you know what I'm saying? So it ain't like I just learned this stuff all of a sudden, and now I'm fast, but, like, you know, coming up, like, it was more of a budget thing like seeing how fast you can go spending this amount of money because like the money won't really there like that you know what i'm saying i mean i got a lot nicer a lot nicer parts on my car now where to me it just make it so much easier to go fast back then i had to figure what worked and what didn't you know you got you know i had some decent parts at times but you know like I'm known for going fast on a budget. I'll yeah. just put it that way. I'm known for going fast on a budget. So, like, even now, like, people think, oh, a well, boost doctor, you know, he doing this and that with such and such amount of money. And it's like, it ain't the same anymore. Like, you know, we at the level now where, like, I can't really put cheap parts on my car and run it like you can but like who the fuck want to work on your car all the time and like my car hardly ever breaks you know what i'm saying and 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 one of the reasons is like i got good parts on it and then like i know how to right. use the parts 
So that means, you know. Um, <laughs> one of the fans said, this is not a question, a question, but they wanted to congratulate you on all your success. Um, the sponsors, the Boost Dr. Cams, um, all those things. And those are my sentiments exactly. Speaking of as somebody who, I won't say I was probably there from the exact beginning when you first started racing, but I, 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 I tell you, I think I told you this recently. I came across a picture of us a long, long, long time ago, and I was about to send it to you, but I ain't want you to be cussing me out. <laughs> <laughs> but but I yeah. came across that picture and I was like, dang, I really been I really been around Boost Doctor for a really, really long time. Yeah, I mean, I mean like man, I just uh I mean what I started with and what I have now, I mean, it's crazy. Like I never thought I would ever have that car go that fast. Like never even, never even. I don't think it would be remotely close to that fast. So, do you ever sit in the car and think after the race, dang, that was that was that, that was that was pretty quick. That was like that was like mind boggling, mind bogglingly fast. How fast I went. Well, it's like I don't ever really do that because, like, when you racing. Like, if you're a real racer and you're a gearhead or whatever, like, I don't care how fast you go, man. When you see a ticket, like, you want to go faster. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when I'm in the zone and I'm at the track, I'm always, I'm always trying to go faster. But, like, when I stop and look back at where I came from, then I'd be like, yeah, like, man, this is crazy. But as far as at the track, nah. Nah, I ain't never going fast. Have you been a daredevil all your life? Yes. Yes. It's like I used to I used to be big in the dirt bikes and stuff too. And um I mean I used to do some motocross racing. Like I was like when I was in my thirties, I was doing motocross racing and stuff. Probably like probably up till I was about forty. So like I was big, I was big in the dirt bikes, and then big in the like dirt drag racing. Like we raced the dirt bikes and the four wheelers. Um, around here, they used to do like uh, four hundred foot, four hundred foot dirt drags. Somebody so asked that a lot too. Asked, um, I don't know if you'll answer this question, but I'm gonna ask it. How close have you um, come to going two hundred? I'm a little ways away, but probably not far as you, I, not far away. As I, you think. I, if you ask me, I don't seen you go 200, but that's just what I be thinking. You know, like speed and acceleration is two different things. Like you can, you can. It's just, I just throw some numbers out there. You know, you can go, you can have a car to go eight flat in a quarter at 200. Or you can have a car to go 750 at 170. Like the car to go 750, like it's not going as fast as speed, but it's still getting to the finish line first. So like speed is not as important as people think it is. So is there anybody on your hit list that you like? just want to race i know you probably has have raced everybody but is there anybody that you just like you know i would continue to race them and i want to beat they well i know you want to win every race but this one person they talk so much you just like i gotta get them who yes. like somebody that i yes. want to beat more than anybody else so everybody gonna think <laughs> that it's twin in them and like for me, you know what, man? If I went out there and I ran a fast pass, like you know, if I if I was putting work in when I ran them and they beat me, it would make me want them more. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that they are faster than me, but they ain't. So like, I don't really. 
you know, I don't really care nothing about that race, to be honest with you. Like, <laughs> when I see them, I talk them up it, but, like, other than that, like, you know, it ain't nothing like I can't sleep because I got to race twin. <laughs> Man, fuck twin. That's just how I feel. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, y'all, y'all hyping up every day with twin beat, um, four heavy, three heavy hooders in one day and all this. Well, that's what everybody do when they win a shootout. They had to beat everybody that was there to race. So what the fuck makes it so special? We been doing this shit. We ain't done nothing. You just amazed. You amazed because you did something that you didn't think you could do. You know what I'm saying? I know my capabilities. So it's not twin. It's not really anybody, man. Like, I treat everybody like I don't care who I'm racing. I want to beat their ass. You know, you got, you got, you got um people that I know is that's fast. Like I. I want to race them more. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying twin ain't fast. They got a new modem. They might be fast, fast. I don't know. But I know there's a couple of things that they ain't got that I have. And I ain't talking mm -hmm. about like parts on my car. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really fear them. Could I race them and lose again? Hell yeah. They might beat my ass again, man. I always lose to the slow motherfuckers anyway. Ass motherfuckers don't never beat me. I'm just telling you like that. Like, it's always a slow motherfucker to beat my ass, man. Fast, man. That's why, man, when the motherfucker out there and they slow as fuck, man, I don't even want to race them. I do not want to race them because I know what I'm going to have to go through if I lose. You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody fast, man. Like, if I race Grand Nasty and I lose, man, it ain't really no big deal. They're just going to be like, oh, man, that was a good race. That was a good race. That was the best race of the year. You know what I'm saying? But you go out there and you fucking lose the late night. The motherfucker go down and get on your ass. And I ain't even talking shit about late night. Cause he faster than what people think he is. But I just use him as an example because his name. I didn't know you was going to say late night, though. You got to leave late, late night, my dog. Uh, I had to say late night. Last night, I said, um... Last night I said Hefe and they got on my ass about it. So I just said, I just say late night tonight. Why do you say late night is faster, faster than people think he is? I think late night pretty fast. Yeah, but a lot of right. people don't think he fast. He like, if, if the topic of slow come up, most of the time his name going to come up. And that's just because of where he started, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, when he came out, he was a slow bitch. I'm gonna tell you that. that this was slow as fuck, but like, you know, he spent his money, he then did the work, and his car's a whole lot faster now. I'm just saying. But still, still that is a very good example of, of, of what I'm saying, like, man, if I lose to Grand Nasty, it ain't gonna be, be that big of a deal. If I lose to Late Night, oh man, I'm gonna goddamn turn my damn Instagram <laughs> off for about two months. That's all I'm saying. Like, like that night when he crashed, if he wouldn't have crashed, like he would have beat me because my damn battery post broke. So like my car just cut off. So like he would have beat the shit out of me. If that bitch would have won that race, man, he'll still be talking about it right now. Every day. Man, hey, man, I'm going to tell you something about Late Night. Did I ever tell you no. Late Night is my favorite racer? Yeah, Late Night is my favorite racer. Because, man, nobody can match his energy, man. Nobody. It ain't nobody in the game That's true. that can match his energy. I don't know man. I don't care what the situation is, he's he gonna right. make good of it. You know what I'm saying? You know, like you over there, you mad, this and that, man. He's gonna come you over right. there, man. He's gonna make you laugh, man. He gonna go up whoever it is that's at the track, he gonna come up to you and he gonna talk shit. He don't give a fuck right. about who you is. 
So in, in that respect, man, to to me, like right. you're my favorite racer. Like I, I I said it many times. I said it again. That's my somebody said racer. late night would have retired with that win. <laughs> Oh man, I tell you, man. So that was that was twenty twenty two um uh Super Bowl twenty twenty one Super Bowl. That motherfucker came up. We um we all had to draw. I ended up drawing late night. Man, he came up to me. He talked so much shit that he actually. Made me think for a second, like, man, he might really have something. That's how much shit that motherfucker talked to me, man. That shit was crazy, like, man. He would not let up. Every time I walked through the pits, he come over there, he catch me. Who stopped? I'm going to bust your ass tonight, boy. I'm going to bust your ass tonight. You, got enough. you ain't got enough of me tonight, Who stopped? I'm telling you. I'm going to bust your ass, man. So it was just, that, the whole thing was just so funny, man. It, it was just so funny, man, because he actually... You know, he had me knowing that I ain't finna go out here and fuck up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I told you, man, like slow motherfucker be beating my ass. I ain't nah, man. I ain't finna nah. I ain't fucking with late night like that. So I fucked him up. I fucked him up, but up to that point, he had me thinking about it. Like, man, nah, I ain't no way, man, he can take that and beat me. But then I, I just kept on thinking like this motherfucker, man, can he really? That motherfucker, that bitch got a poker face. I you know what about late night, though? He's just oh like God. that in life. Not just at the racetrack, in life. Like, he gonna have you laughing. He gonna keep everybody around just in a good mood. He's just that type of person. I just love hanging around him and his wife. And to hang around them together is crazy. If I come to Orlando, man, and he ain't there, man, I'm Type of way, you know what I'm saying? Like that's, you know that that. Hey man, he the life. He the life of the sport. What's something that you would like to see change um, when it comes to big rim racing? Well, I would like grudge racing is all cool. That's fine, man. But I would like some kind of structure with the rules or you know or, or what you can do man because you know if if i build my car on this platform right here okay i'm using a, a ls motor i'm stock chassis you know what i'm saying i um uh turbo or whatever you know what i'm saying like i don't want, want to race against somebody that got all the things that's known to beat what I have, you know what I'm saying? It don't make sense to me. That's why. That's why they got different classes in small tire racing. Like it's, you know, the example I gave somebody the other day, man. Let's just say we all on motorcycles, and man, it's it's twenty of us. We all got six hundred cc motorcycles, and then a motherfucker pull up with a fourteen hundred, and gonna race you. He don't give you no, give you no nothing. We just running head up, man. Like, why the fuck do I suppose to beat him? It don't make no sense to me. Like, for me, like anybody can spend and buy something that's better than what you got to beat you. But can you beat me with what I have? You know what I'm saying? That that's how I feel about it. Like in the grudge racing, yeah, man, the rules should be open, like. No, but you know, in a grudge race, you decide what you want to do or who you want to race. But like, if it's a shootout and a motherfucker pull up with something, it ain't nothing like what the fuck I got. I know I'm the baddest motherfucker with what I got. Let's just say that I ain't, I ain't, I ain't. This is a scenario. I'm saying, what if I'm the baddest motherfucker with what I got? But you know, you know what I got. 400 cubic inch motor where well, a motherfucker pull up with an 800 cubic inch motor but well, why the fuck should that 400 cubic inch motor outrun the 800 cubic inch motor you know what i'm saying like so you know a lot of people do that like like that's kind of the florida way go get a car go buy the biggest goddamn motor you can find and put in that bitch and load that bitch up with all the goddamn nitrous you can you know what i'm saying 
saying? Like that's 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 the Florida way. But you know, I just I would like to see a little structure in the rules. You know what I'm saying? As far as the Do you think y'all will ever get to that? Yeah, yeah, I think it will. I think it will, but you know what? It's I ain't even like trying to talk down on anybody or anything, but it's hard to find structure with ignorance. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't know nothing about what you're doing, how the fuck is you going to make some type of rules? You know what I'm saying? Like, a person that make the rules got to be somebody that know what the fuck is going on out here. You know, everybody come, oh, man, middleweight. Oh, you can't modify your frame. You know, you got all these little small things that supposed to make you a middleweight where, where to be real. Really honest, like I can convert my car to middleweight pretty fucking easily. And then is that gonna be fair? You know what I'm saying? Middleweight supposed to be a class, supposed to be a class, a competitive class where you're not spending as much money. Like the, the purpose of the lower classes is, is for the people who don't have the money to spend to run the big class, you know what I'm saying? So that that's that's really the main purpose. Some people is called they don't want to go as fast, but most people is right. a money thing. Like you don't make these modifications. You don't want to buy this motor. You know, you don't want to buy this transmission. You know what I'm saying? That's so that's what middleweight supposed to be for. But all the rules I seen for middleweight is nothing that's gonna like they have no restrictions on motors. So I can go buy a hundred thousand dollar motor as long as I got a stock style frame and I'm on hard tires. I can race. You know what I'm saying? Like, which don't right. make sense to me. So, who do you think it's gonna take to 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 make though? You said somebody that knows. So we know that like you and maybe only a few of the other guys have been racing to the caliber that you have been racing what, for years, who do you think it's going to take to? It ain't a problem of finding somebody to make the rules. The problem is getting the people that don't understand the rules to right. adhere to them. And like right now, six people out there ain't going to be, oh man, fuck the rules, man. Six man racing about run with your bum. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, it's going to, I don't really care, man. I ran with the best of them. You know what I'm saying? It don't affect me that much. But it would make for a whole lot better racing. And just like just like now, like right now, Dunkzilla is the man to beat on hard tires. But just another example of somebody that don't have what the average person got out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I'm just keeping it real. Like, he fast as fuck. He doing his thing. He got his program together. All that. But, you know, what he has is more than every other right. racer out there. And so, you know, to me, you're supposed to be the man. Right. That's just how I feel. So, um, <clears throat> how do you feel about the fact that um, they – it's all. It's often said, like I've heard some people, and we won't say no names. Well, I only want to race dunks, um, but it's not too many dunks that the people that say they only want to race dunks can really compete with. If that makes sense. Yeah. The thing is, you know what? A part of me get that. You know what I'm saying? But nobody is limited. To to a certain type of racing, like why you can't, if it's an all dunk event, hey, handle your business. Now, don't hate on, on the event, another event that's not all dunk, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what, man? You know, I, I get, you know, that a lot of the dunk owners, man, they kind of bougie, you know what I'm saying? They bougie as fuck, because you know what? At the end of the day, man, you got a motherfucking, you got a Chevy Caprice or a Chevy Impala. Just like every fucking body else, man. So like, yeah, you got this certain year, and y'all made this y'all year, and y'all like it, and that's cool. That's fine. But stop being 
being stop being bougie like you like you got something like super duper special. Cause when you jack that motherfucker up on the lift and you jack my car up on the lift, you ain't gonna see many differences. You jack that up on the lift and you put a G body on the lift, and you ain't gonna see that many differences. It's just the length of the fucking car, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I get it. I get what they saying. And I get all that, but when the last time you been to a non big wheel race and every car was the same fucking car? Like, why the fuck would you just want to run the same kind of car you got? I want to show a motherfucker that I can beat this car or I can beat that car. You know what I'm saying? Like, why the fuck would you just be limited to what you have? Like a whole bunch of damn spec racers or something. They don't. I mean, it's like, fine, man, but. I don't want to go to the track and it ain't nothing but goddamn box Chevys. Not every time I go to the track, man. If it's a if it's a a race every other month or whatever, and they be like box Chevy shootout, hey yeah, let's get it. But for me to just be limited to that, no, nah, that don't make sense to me. Do you think it's because the these the box Chevys and the G bodies are usually the ones to beat? The box Chevys and the Jeep bodies, they pretty much is you it's a few other people that's like they, they. You look at it like as far as box Chevys, I mean we really can't say that about a box Chevy because as far as box Chevys, I'm probably gonna be forgetting somebody, but fucking me, fucking um cut the check right. and Hensley. That ain't enough cars for you to be like, oh, box Chevy's rent shit. You know what I'm saying? That ain't enough damn cars. Right. Can the G bodies? Yeah. I mean, like, to me, when it comes to a G body, like, they more established because in the small town world, that's what they use. Like, if you, once you pass South Carolina, man, it ain't everybody G body. Like down here where I'm at, everybody got Mustangs. When you cross that South Carolina line in Georgia, man, everybody got G body, man. It's like fuck a Mustang. And so like every the, the road is paid for a G body. You go buy them them fast small tire G bodies right now. Throw some rims on it and work on it for a couple of weeks, man. You gonna run fast? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, why wouldn't you? So, you know. I like everything. I like don'ts, and I even like the cars. The don't guys are so disrespectful, man. Like they not even gonna acknowledge like a a Letcher two twenty five, a fucking a O's ninety eight. I mean, it's the same fucking right. car. You, they all on the same chassis. They all on a fucking Cadillac Fleetwood. They all on the same exact chassis, like. All the suspension, control arms, everything. People are so ignorant to that. Like, yeah, it's just got a different body right. on it. It's like people don't know that a bubble and a box Chevy is on the exact same chassis. They look like a box Chevy is smaller. But you can take the body from a bubble, take it off, and take a box Chevy body and bolt it right on there. No modification or nothing. Just bolt right on and see a lot of people know that. So, what's your biggest pet peeve uh, when it comes to uh, big rim racing? Like the thing that just grinds your gears. Man, Man it's several. It's several things. Like, it's several, several things. But the the biggest problem I have is when a cocksucker over here trying to tell me how I'm doing what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you know what? Whatever I do, man, they got to find some kind of way to make it like, you know, when I do it, it ain't, it ain't the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, it ain't respectable. Or oh, this, this other motherfucker pull up and, um, he doing half of what I'm doing. I'm, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you some good examples here. It is nothing for me to win a race, and in the comments, everybody talking about the motherfucker that lost. 
Oh man. And he was only like like two cars behind Boost Doctor. Oh man. Oh, oh Bill Collector, you did good, man. Man, I can't believe, man. Oh man, you you man, you you put up a good race, man. Like motherfucker can't even ain't even got time to congratulate me for fucking winning. Just like straight did. Uh when I ran uh uh, uh, Hollywood down. What's that car? Uh, right. Little Joe. When I ran Little Joe, man, I beat the shit out of Little Joe, man. This motherfucker on the intercom hollering, "Good save, good save." Yo, bitch, fuck you. Congratulate me first, and then you talk about that slow motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And it happens all the time. It happens all the time. Like a motherfucker want to talk about the motherfucker I race that's in the back. I always trying to dumb down what I'm doing. Why do you think that is? But one thing they can't fucking do is, I, you know what I think it is? I'm going to just be honest. And I could be completely wrong. What I mostly think it is, they don't like that a nigga that go to work every day, work a nine to five, come beat on they motherfucking ass. They don't like that shit. Some of these niggas got unlimited money. They got unlimited money. They can buy what they want. They they went and bought all these fancy parts. You know what I'm saying? So they supposed to be the man. They talking all this shit before they get their shit together. And then they get it together and they get their ass handed to them. And then it's like, then they want to play down what I'm doing. But all I can say is I consistently has beaten damn near everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what? Like, how you gonna play down what I'm doing? I fucking go to work every day. I got four fucking kids. I got all this shit going on, and I still go to the track and I fucking win. Am I the baddest motherfucker? I'm not gonna say that. But what I'm gonna say is, I'm gonna put in a solid motherfucking effort, and most of the time, it's gonna get me by. It's gonna get me by. Do you happen to know your big rim racing record? Over the whole time you've been racing, I know the, I know you ain't got that many losses. I mean, I got some losses. I just ain't got as many as a lot of other people. I, I definitely got some losses. I just just um for 2022, I just had a shaky start because I had electrical gremlins for the first couple of races, so that kind of fucked my momentum up. You know what I'm saying? Because straight race was first. And, you know, that that was the race that I really needed to just show motherfuckers, look, this is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But I had electrical problems. Then I come back to the next race. Now, the first race was cut the check race. I had electrical problems there. Like, my car right. wouldn't even start in the finals. And so I fixed that problem, go to straight race. Then... And I output in my computer went bad and I couldn't, my fucking two step wouldn't work, my boost control wouldn't work, and that's when uh, Easy beat me. So, like, that was two races right there that I should have easily, you know what I'm saying? I would say easily make it to the finals. Easily. And I ain't make it nowhere. Well, the first race I made it to the finals, but um, straight race, I went out first round. Shit, how many times you seen me do that? You know what I'm saying? And so. You know, it is what it is. Like, it ain't a perfect you, world. You know who I, he, in late night saying 59 uh, and 19. 58 and 19. Definitely put it in. I ain't got 19. I years. know that. That's why I'm trying to get you to say it because I know it ain't 19. Over the whole course of your career, it ain't 19, right? I'm three to one. Again? I mean, like, 19 is like a three to one ratio almost. I say I'm definitely, I definitely got more wins than that. But like I definitely had took some L's though. Man, even if we go way back, man. My whole thing is like my first, my first three years of racing. A lot of my L's was from not being prepared or not having my shit right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I say, man, when I come in. When I came in in 2017, here I am with a car with a 6.0 in it, 
Rods and Pistons, still got factory heads on it, got eBay turbos on the motherfucker. Like, I got bottom line shit, you know what I'm saying? And I'm fucking, I'm winning some races, but I'm slipping up right. here now and then, you know what I'm saying? So it, it was a learning curve, like, far as like the figuring out the converter, figuring out, man, figuring out this, figuring out that. I did all of that as I went along as I was building my car. And like some of these people coming out with a car that already got everything on it they need. Like I ain't do that. When I came out in 2017, I had a fucking street car. You know what I'm saying? And so I took L's from that. Like when I took the L to Bruce in um 2018 mm -hmm. in Darlington. I mean, I was faster than Bruce by far. But I went out there and my shit went right. right and he beat my ass. Mm -hmm. but, like you know. You know, I took, I didn't take L's. I definitely not took some L's from situations like that. Like the, um, I beat Sage the first time we ran it back. My shit went right. You know what I'm saying? Like, but like I say, like I'm building as I'm going and some decisions I make, some things I do to the car ain't really working. Like I thought it was going to work and I got to go back and I got to figure that out. You know what I'm saying? Like, whereas now, it's like, you know, I just pretty much feel like <clears throat> right now, if somebody balance up to my weight, if they weigh what I weigh, I just don't feel like they can beat me. I mean, it's probably one or two cars that, you know, might can, but like what people not. Oh, let's go back to the okay. pet peeve. This is my pet peeve. Right here. So you remember when I first came on the scene and I was showing up at the races and, and every time I beat a don't, everybody said yeah. how it won't fair. Oh, about lighter than don't, blah blah blah. That ain't fair. You shouldn't get to run those cars. But well, why ain't no fucking body taking up for me when I'm racing all the goddamn G bodies? And kicking their ass still. Y'all blamed it on me having a lighter car at first. Now I got the heavier car in the class I'm racing, and I'm still beating ass. So, you know, at some point, man, just, just give a nigga a little credit. You know what I'm saying? Like, just give a little credit on what he got going on. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even saying I'm the baddest motherfucker. I'm just saying, man, I'm going to put up a fight when you show up. Is there any loss that hurt you to your heart that you was like, oh, my God, I can't. I can't. I don't. I'm just going to pack the car up and go home. I don't ever really feel like that. It's just like when you lose a certain, like Sage. Like Sage is going to, he got the fan base that when you lose to him, they going to make you feel it. The bitch is going to make, make you feel it now. Don't think you're going to get up here and you going to tell how you feel about something. Because it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be 30 to 1 ratio. Right. Of them motherfuckers, man. When I, in the first, first time, I beat him. And, they had ways of just making Dang. me feel like I lost. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like them motherfuckers, man, they ruthless. They ruthless. Um, so, you know, like, for me, like, like right. I don't like any else. So, you, you know, my whole thing, though, is if you lose and you don't feel nothing from it, you ain't right. got nothing to motivate you to win. That's a good quote. That's a good quote. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if you don't feel nothing from it, you ain't got nothing in you to motivate you to win. Um, my the motherfucker the hell and just just, just lay down, man. Fuck that, fuck that cop sucker. That bitch beat me. I'm coming back. <laughs> my last question is: When you retire from racing and you you a a older man <laughs> sitting in your wheel in your uh in your rocking chair, uh, what do you want your legacy to be? Just people to recognize what I've done and, you know, recognize what I've done in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it ain't really, ain't really that serious to me, but just give me the credit for the shit that I accomplished. And I feel like that fuck when I get old. I, I want that shit now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, whatever I'm doing, you know, like, 
like the motherfucker that called me up, man, and you need this information, man, and I help you out with that shit, or I help you figure it out, or you bring your car to me, man, and I fix a problem that nobody else can figure out, you know what I'm saying? Like, show some love. Who's Doctor? It's always a pleasure speaking with you. I just need to know where the fans <laughs> can catch you next. What you got to say? Where can they get your merch? What we what what else we need to know about uh, Boost Doctor? When can we see you again? Look, February twenty fifth, Macon, Georgia, KDC race. Hey, come to win. Come to win. Last year, my car wouldn't start in the finals. I felt like I had the car. I felt like I had the car to win. Shit wouldn't start in the finals. And I think it's a slim chance it ain't gonna start in the finals this year. Anything can happen, but so this year you saying what the fuck up last year? Oh, I got that shit in my toolbox. That's all I'm saying. It's gonna have to be it's gonna have to be something else to fuck up to keep it from starting. Cause I got that part with me all <laughs> how the can fans purchase your merch, Boost Doctor? Well, right now, I'm, I'm working on getting the website up, but I ain't got it up yet. But, like, anybody can hit me on Instagram, um, just DM me, whatever you and need. And I you'll have it at uh, Cut the Check Race as well, right? Sure. Um, anything else we need to know before, before I let you get out of here? I know you're a busy man. Mm hmm. I'm sure I think of something when, when it's over. You think of it when it's over? How are we supposed to hear it? <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. But, yeah. Like, just, man, I'm just looking forward to, you know, it's a lot of new cars coming out. And I was just telling some people the other day I was talking to, like, I never underestimate anybody. Like, you know, everybody keeps talking about the twin race. Oh, you underestimated. I ain't underestimate shit. Our car just ain't do what I wanted it to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, it didn't run the number. It didn't do what I wanted. It ain't had nothing to do with twin them. It's just, uh, when I ran them that day, that was the slowest pass right. I made all day. But that's racing. That's gonna, you gonna, you gonna, sometimes, man, you can make a change to your car and you just know that motherfucker gonna goddamn pick up, gonna be flying. And you go to the track and that motherfucker ran like shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, everything don't... What's your prediction win. for the 2023 uh, race season? In terms, in terms of, of like how the season's going to go with not just your car, but the whole the whole race season. I think we're going to see some new cars. I think we're going to see some people um, make moves up the ladder. You know what I'm saying? I think it's going to be some upsets. I mean, I think, I mean, it's going to, I think it's going to be a good year. You having your race this year? year? Yep. I will announce my date at the end of the week. I am sure wish you could have announced it today, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll wait till then. I want, but I got one or two little things I got to confirm before I can, okay. before I can say. But I'll okay. see at the end of the week. Week. Um. So, are you still doing the uh the cam raffles? Oh yeah, definitely doing the the, the cam raffles is nonstop. We got over two hundred cams on the shelf. As long as people keep buying spots, I'm gonna mm. keep keep on going with them. Uh, it's a good way, you know, to get a $400 cam for $20. And then, like, the raffles don't take long. Like, I never had one that lasts over a day and a half or whatever. So, like, you know, like, we on um, raffle number nine right now. Right. We just started last week. So, yeah, that's going to continue. And then I'm going to start raffling some of the other valve train parts that you need to go with the cam, like lifters, um, spring kit, that type thing. So, you just might have a chance to win your whole value train hmm. from my raffles. Well, Boost Daughter, as always, it's a pleasure speaking with you. Um, you you provide you always provide such great entertainment. 
the fans always look forward to hear you speak. I wish I, I could just let you sit on here and just talk all night because, you know, we know we will be thoroughly entertained when you are around. And I mean, ask the right questions, yeah, <laughs> for sure. And I can't wait to see you. I, like, I don't really, you know, like a lot of times you're going to have to ask me something because like, I ain't really got that much to say. You know what I'm saying? Like you might get on my live and ain't really shit going on to somebody bring something. Yeah, me, I got a lot saying? of videos where I I ask you just a question and then like you go off on me. I I was gonna post one the other day, but you know I didn't want us to have to argue, so I just decided not to not to post it. Yeah, I just asked a you a question? question at the track and you just went off, so I just. Well, you probably. Was I'm not. Like, what was I, the I'll send you the video and let you look at it. Yeah. Oh, that's how you feel. Oh, you feel like I'm, yeah, I'm going to shut you down? You always, I mean, you know what? We're we going to start 2023 off with such a positive experience with me and you. We're not going to go back and forth. I, I want to tell you thank you for sitting down, answering the fan que fans' questions. Them damn fans are. You get slick at the damn mouth, and then when I come back and I get a little slicker than what you got, then you feel some type of way about my slickness. You're right. You're right. I'm the, like fat and funny. Say I'm the problem. I'm the problem. You're right. I'm the problem. I ain't so much saying that. I'm just saying like when you come at me, like I just feel like anybody that's been following me for the last two or three years, they pretty much know when you come at me with some bullshit, I'm coming back. Like you're not going to just, you're not finna just damn get on my ass and I just sit there and like, huh? No, you already know what's about to happen. You know what's about to happen. It's like Star Man, he put that little shit up the day of me and Debo pulling motors out with our bare hands. I'm gonna get on his ass. I just ain't had time yet. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna get on his ass. So he might well we'll get ready. Thank you so much for sitting down with us tonight. I really appreciate you answering our questions and being such a kind, humble person tonight, you have been you have been an amazing guest. I appreciate it. I try to I just try I just be me, you know what I'm saying? Like the way I feel, I feel like if you be you, then you ain't never gotta put on no show for nothing. You ain't never gotta, you know, you not you never adjusting you never adjust right. to your surroundings. Just be you. I think that, you know what I'm saying? that's a great so, message for yeah. some of your uh your 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 fellow uh racers as well. Oh, that's a great message. Yeah. <laughs> you say you sound like you're from the Bay Area. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you February twenty fifth. The fans ask that you have T shirts and hoodies if possible, because they're coming out to purchase and support. And yeah, I can't wait to see uh the 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 um the shootout go down and see who is the victor of the shootout. Yeah, it's some good competition in it. But definitely not, not gonna take anybody for granted. I'm I'm coming to win. Thank you. Who's got definitely. Hey, what's your uh Hensley? Huh? Hensley say Oh, I didn't see this question. Let me see. He's going to put his question back up there because I didn't see it. Mm. Straight 100. Yeah, you know what it is. I didn't see his question. I guess he'll have to uh, send you. Oh, wait. Maybe you put it in the questions box. <laughs> I don't see it. And, and he didn't put it back up there, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll still be driving. Um, CC don't. Yeah, he didn't put it back up there, so. Um, oh, he put it in the questions box. Let's see. My questions box not even coming up. Mine is. 
how much power you're going to pick up with your new setup. Just curious. All right, now, man, I feel like I feel like I got two to three hundred more in my setup than what I currently have. What? So, so, yeah, I feel like I got two. I got to say, I got a little part coming Friday, and that's going to, that should fix. That should, that should put me in position to make a hundred more horsepower. I'll put it that way. All my setup. That, I that think I you talk with. twin up. <laughs> yeah, you talk twin up, this doctor. <laughs> Hey twin, I we can do you something custom. We can do you something custom. So you gonna make a custom uh cam fun? Yeah. Cause like right now we we pretty much marketing the LS cams cause that's like the most popular engine. You know what I'm saying? So I think I, we can't invest a lot in something that's not gonna sell as well. So we started off with the LS stuff, and then we're going to branch out to the other stuff. But do custom cams for Oh, that's motor. what's up. Well, Doctor, what made you start Tech Tuesdays or Tech Talk? Um, mm -hmm. To be honest, like, like, to try to get my DM fucking, you know, I get a lot of questions my DM like a lot of questions you know and most of the time it's pretty much the same questions over and over so like I was really trying to do my tech talk to where I could talk to several people at one time versus answering everybody right. individually you know I really, I really want to get it back going man but it ain't really like since my um page got taken and I got my page back and it got taken again it's like my tech talk ain't really did the numbers like like it used to so i don't know i might have to start promoting it putting it in my stories more or whatever but i like doing it man because i just feel like a lot of people you know you get on the internet you read and what people don't understand is a lot of times a person um shit that you're reading ain't no different from you. He, he just got up there and voiced his opinion or or stated some shit that's, that's completely fucking wrong or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of times people that's building cars, they buy the wrong shit and you have to keep buying shit, buying shit over and over because you don't have what you really need. So like that was like one of my main reasons for doing the tech talk is like, I can help people with their setups with what they're doing and let them know, look, this ain't the way to go. Yeah, like this cam, yeah, this cam might sound really, really good in your car, but this cam is not going to make you run as fast as what you need to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, or well, this turbo, yeah, this big turbo is nice, man, but you really don't have enough motor to spool this turbo. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a little shit like that. Everybody always wants the biggest of everything, and that's not always what you need. Yeah. So who's that? I appreciate you sitting down with us tonight. Um, we'll see you February 25th, and like I said, we can't wait to see who wins the shootout. All right. <laughs> All right. Have a good night. Bye-bye. All right, guys. So if y'all missed any of tonight's episode of Rise and Vibes, it'll be uploaded to the YouTube channel. Y'all make sure y'all click the link in my bio. And subscribe the subscribe to the YouTube channel. There you can catch up on any past episodes of Rise and Vibes. We have been now going since 2019, so there's a lot of episodes to catch up on. If you guys um, missed any of this episode, like I said, it'll be uploaded in the next um, maybe 20, 30 minutes. Um, also, I'll see you guys next Tuesday for another episode of Rise and Vibes. And if you are looking to sponsor an episode of Rise and Vibes, make sure you call me, send a DM, send an email, send a text, whatever, and let me know you'd like to 
um, so you would like to sponsor an episode. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. And thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll see you guys next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time.